Leader of the Third Party. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. It costs $10 to take the Cowichan Valley commuter bus, $10 each way. So if you're a commuter from Cowichan who rides home in the evening, it's going to be $20. You can buy a pass, that's over $200 a month. The commuter bus only runs one way in the early morning and in the early evenings. To take the bus into the city of Victoria for work, riders need to catch it an hour and a half before school starts. And so for working parents, not sure how they tend to their kids in the interim. This is ultimately a policy failure. There are an average of 25,000 vehicles per day traveling the Malahat, and for the vast majority of people, this is the only option available to them getting between the CBRD and the CRD. Transit for Cowichan Valley residents is neither affordable nor accessible. Through you, Honourable Speaker, to the Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure, we're in an affordability crisis. In one of his responses, the Premier told British Columbians to use BC's, quote, sophisticated public transit systems if prices become too unaffordable in the short term. Does the Minister of Transportation consider the Cowichan Valley commuter bus to be a sophisticated, affordable public transit system? Minister of Transportation. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for asking the question. And of course, we value inner city commuter buses. We're expanding services this year in communities around the province, uh, including the member's own community. And I'm very pleased that this very day we have introduced a brand new inner community bus service between Duncan and Nanaimo in, her, in the member's constituency. I'm very proud of the uh, budget that is before the House today because it, amongst all of the good things that are in that budget, there is an 11 per cent operating funding increase for BC Transit services in every community in British Columbia, Mr. Speaker. And this year, we will realize an expansion of 120,000 additional service hours uh, in our province, a combined total in excess of $2.5 million at 2.5 million annual service hours that provide innovative uh, routes, services, expansion of the types of service that the member uh, has uh, raised here in the House today. These are good things for the community. This is a transit government that is expanding transit service, expanding our investment in public transit, record investments in transit capital funding all over the province, Mr. Speaker. That's our government's con commitment. We got the transit system through the pandemic. We're rebounding ridership as we speak, and we will continue our investments in, in public transit in her community and right around BC. Leader of the Third yeah, Party, yeah. supplemental. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. I, I specifically asked about the bus between Cowichan and the CRD. Got an answer about the bus between Cowichan and Nanaimo, so I'll try again. For riders, for people who are commuting between the Cowichan Valley and the Capital Regional District, there is an almost zero chance for them to be able to properly use the commuter bus because it is so limited and, for many people, out of their cost range. Uh, last month's budget does point out that transportation is the province's largest single source of greenhouse gas emissions. It also pointed out in the fight for climate change, we need to, quote, ensure that people are able to choose cleaner, more efficient ways to get around, including transit. But for commuters between the Cowichan Valley and the CRD, that choice simply is not truly available. And last week, instead of finding a way to support more transit users, this government decided to give a rebate to car drivers. My question again is to the Minister of Transportation. Uh, a three-hour commute by bus each, uh, return that costs $20 is not adequately serving the transit needs of the people of Cowichan Valley. Can they expect to see an improvement to the commuter bus system? <clears throat> Minister. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. And again, I thank the member for the question. And the, the fact of the matter is, just a few short years ago, there was no Cowichan commuter to the CRD. There is today. We have just been through a pandemic where Public transit ridership has been hammered uh, in this province and around the globe. I'm happy to say that BC Transit is now reporting a 67% ridership recovery to date, 
which makes it amongst the highest in North America. We are on our way to rebounding transit ridership. We are doing so with a budget that increases funding by 11 per cent this year in operating funding. And I have to say that we chose to do things differently in BC when it came to making public transit reliable to people uh, in their time of need during a, a pandemic and all the uncertainties that br that brought to their lives. With the latest uh, uh, partnership with Ottawa that the finance minister and others helped our government negotiate, we took the lead in the Confederation through the Premier on insisting that we needed more money to help public transit recover. We will be close to investing an additional $1 billion in transit recovery funding to the province of British Columbia. Other provinces turned that money down. They cut service, they laid off staff, they slashed transit service. We built back better, Mr. Speaker, and that's what we're going to continue to do in her community and every community in the, in the province.